Hey, what's going on guys? This is Casey back again with another exciting video. So I'm going to give you guys three simple examples that I personally use to absolutely transform our worship services. And they start off really dissonant and have a lot of tension. But trust me, just like in our personal lives, things may be going really tough for us. But if you keep pressing forward, if you keep moving through these scales, you'll see that everything works out in the end. What I'm gonna do is with these sounds, I'll pull these down and I'm gonna go with more of a piano. I'll add a few other little sounds here. All right, I like that. So in level one, we're gonna play a down up. Now let me explain what down up means. So if we play a C major chord and we invert this down, we have the G down at the bottom and we're gonna go up. So down, up. And that's all we're gonna do here in level one. And the way I like to create a very intense moment is to create some tension. So what we're gonna do is go up a half step. Oh. Now that's C sharp, down, up. We wanna go to the key of E flat, do the same thing. Down, up. And that's E flat major. Now we're gonna go to F. <laughs> Now we're gonna to go to G, do the same thing. And we're gonna to go to A flat, B flat, and then back to C. All right, now the cool thing about this is, this is actually a scale. Or a mode. And I don't wanna ruin the fun here, but this is called a Phrygian scale or in the Phrygian mode. And I'll explain later in the video what the Phrygian mode is, but I want you guys to get moving quickly because my goal is to simplify your musical journey. So, and then we have C sharp, E flat, and again, you can follow this in your PDF, F. I'm gonna give you all these chords. The next note is G, A flat, B flat, back to C. Now that's a very simple way to create a nice intense moment. Now what we can do is we can take this up a notch and this will be more for my intermediate musicians. So we're gonna introduce a term called a sus four or suspended four. If this is your C major chord, one, three, five. If I move this three up a half step to the four, that's called a suspended four, C sus four. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a C here at the top, all right? And I'll move it here. And another thing I like to do is adjust my sounds. So I'll pull these two sounds down, a few of these down, and then I'll pull these last two up. And this gives me a really, really intense feel. So watch this. You hear that? E flat sus. <laughs> and if you really, really want to get intense, you can use the pitch bin here. Watch this. So as you can see, man, there's so many different things that you can do. And if you guys want me to do a breakdown on all the sounds that I use and the techniques that I use to create these sounds and move these faders, comment below. I promise I'll break all this down next week in the next week's video. Now, real quick, before we go to step three, I want to let you all know that we're here every Monday. So if you're new to Pretty Simple Music, I want to tell you welcome. And uh, this is a beautiful community. We're here every Monday. So go on and subscribe. And if you'd like, give us a thumbs up and comment below if this is a blessing to your musical journey. All right. So let's jump into step three. Again, what I'm going to do is with these sounds, I'll pull these down and I'm going to go with more of a piano. I'll add a few other little sounds here. All right, I like that. So what we can do is we're gonna do something like a cross under, and I know this looks super weird, but listen to this. All right, now let me explain what I'm doing here. 
This is really, really intense. I'm playing what they call a C2 chord or a sus2, and I'm gonna invert it. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> so I have that, and then underneath, I'm playing a third scale degree and a seventh scale degree. And some of you guys, like I say, you remember this from my ninth wonder video. I'm gonna go. Now let me break this down. What I'm doing is C, and then I'm gonna do the third and seventh with the left hand, and then I'm gonna cross and do the two and the five. So two, five, one with the right hand, three and seven with the left hand. So watch this. One, the three and the seven, two and the five, three and the seven. Go up a half step and do that same move. Same interval. And then I'm gonna go to an E flat, same scale. Let's go to F. <laughs> Let's go to G. Woo! Let's go to A flat. And let's go to B flat. Back to C. <laughs> Again, I told you level three was super, super advanced. But the key really is to take things slow, all right? So if you're an absolute beginner, I don't want you to feel discouraged that you can't play level three. Just take your time. Play the one, the seven, and the three with the left hand, and then two and the five and then back to the three and the seven, left hand, and then C, so. And if you press the sustain pedal, that's what gives that effect. Up, half step. Now, that's the two, five, and the one in the key of C sharp. Two, five, one, and then the three and the seven together, so. Same movement. You guys remember this from my ninth wonder video. I go through this, I take my time to break it down. So if you felt like I was moving too fast, don't worry. But I would also like to let you guys know that I love you so much and you know you can head up to the website to join the free club. Man, I'm telling you, there's so much great information and so many different PDFs and MIDI files and this pad and uh, so many more. And also don't forget to comment below if you want me to give a breakdown of my slider, my faders and how I bring my sounds up and down and which sounds I use. And again, you all know I never like to close any video without letting you know that today is a new day, a new life and a new opportunity for you to become a better you. I love you so much and I'll see you next Monday.